G'day, Stu from Urban Futures in. Today, well, we're going to be replacing the lens in my Yomi G action camera. And you might be saying, Stuart, why do you have to do that? Well, because I'm an idiot. I didn't put a lens protector on. I know I should have. And look, I've got a couple of them lying around. And this was the one flight where I left it off. And it happened to be the one flight where I smashed into a rock. So, uh, very, very frustrating there. But doesn't matter too much because I've got myself a spare lens so this might help some of you guys out there. We're going to open it up, stick the new lens in and it'll be good as new. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so here it is. I've got the camera on the bench and you're probably saying just before we get started, Stuart, what's this yellow bit of tape? And all that is, I actually just keep the tape on the back here instead of a little port so I can still plug my USB in and out. But uh, a tape over the back of anywhere where your SD card is a very good idea because I've had some of these pop out when you're flying and that's the last thing you want to lose, uh, lose all your good footage. So looking at the front here, you can see I have smashed my lens where I smashed into the rock. So I need to replace that with this one right here. So the first thing we need to do, we need to open it up. So I've just got a little flathead screwdriver and we're going to put this inside this little uh, recess here and it's going to take a little bit of work, but just very gently we're going to go around and open this up. And the way I'm doing this, I've actually, uh, I'm just putting my screwdriver in a little bit and then just turning it. So going around part by part and then just sort of using it to pry it open. All right, so there's the front of the case coming off and you can see in here, you've actually got some hot glue. Now, uh, that's what's holding the lens in place. Now, if just give this a little spin and if it doesn't move, you need to scrape that hot glue back. But I've noticed on mine, I can actually just screw it and it's gonna come straight off. So you can just totally unscrew your lens right here. There we go. There's uh, there's my lens and I'm going to sit to the side. I am going to remove this hot glue that is around the outside, making very care, making sure that nothing falls inside here on the sensor. And the other little hot glue here. Alrighty. And now what I'm going to do, I've got this lens right here. Uh, and I'll leave a link to the description of where I got this from. This one, we're going to screw straight in there. All right, now, uh, something we need to do, we need to make sure that this lens is in focus because uh, it's not gonna be easy to focus. We're gonna actually need to hot glue it into the right position. But in order to find out where that is, you need to use your phone. So I've got my phone just here. So, uh, well, oh, look, there's my dog, roof, roof, roof. All righty, some of you guys probably reading my messages. Uh, I've got my Yomi G action camera little app. I know this is a super old phone, but anyway, we'll make do. So I'm going to turn this on and then turn the Wi-Fi on. Hopefully it's not flat. Oh, hang on, the power button's at the front. Turn the Wi-Fi on. There we go. So that's on. Uh, then we can connect our Yomi G. Here we go. And, and it's this one down the bottom, uh, this YDXJ, blah, blah, blah. It'll ask to join that. And the default password, I think, oh, I must have remembered it, but I think the default password is 01234567890, or it's 12345678910. Alright, so that is all well and good. Now we can go back into our Yomi G app and uh, push this little button here, and hopefully it should connect. All right, so we can see things are well out of focus. Now what I'm going to do, you'll be able to see me focusing it on the screen right here. Um, let's see if we spin this. Hopefully some things should come into focus at a certain point. We can see if it's getting better or worse. So that looks like it's getting better. And you'll just keep going. Hello. <laughs> Just keep going until it's looking good. Now I'm going to take this outside and do this because uh, a good little tip, don't focus this on something that is super close because uh, when we're out flying, we're usually getting uh, some better footage. So I'm going to go outside and focus this and then I'll uh, come back. All right, so I've gone outside and I've focused it. Now what we need to do so it doesn't spin around anymore, uh, I'm just going to put a little dollop of hot glue in here to stop the lens spinning around and becoming out of focus. So I'm going to do that. Make sure you don't get any hot glue actually on the lens. There we go. Two little, uh, what do you call a dollop of glue? Gob, gob jewels? I don't know. Anyway, so there it is. We're going to let that cool. So it should only take a second. Alrighty, and uh, now we can put our case back on. That should simply just snap down into place. Voila! There we go. So that's how easy it is to replace your smashed Xiaomi Z sort of lens. I gotta learn how to say that, honestly. So there it is. There's my guide on how to fix the smashed lens in your Yomi G action camera. So hopefully that can save some of you guys some money out there. Um, subscribe for more FPV related content. And as always, happy flying. Um, g'day. <laughs> I'm joking here. Ah. <coughs> uh. Now, 
Now this is what the lens looked like when it was smashed, so you couldn't see it all. It had that big uh, smash in the middle, and then here is the replace lens. So this is the one we've just put on, and uh, this is me just buzzing around. And it's probably worth noting that uh, these are some severely smashed up props that I'm flying at the moment. It felt very, very, the can't talk probably, very, very unbalanced. Uh, so yeah, but it's nice to actually have a camera to record because I was missing this uh, a lot. And the purple flare that you guys are seeing, that's just coming off the uh, nice, pretty sort of lens protector I have printed. Anyway, oh, uh, almost. Anyway, happy flying.